Green Thumb Industries, GTBIF stock, just reported the revenues continually increasing. Margins are excellent. What I wanted to do is break down and compare Green Thumb versus the broader stock market and where they are with their Q2, Q3 numbers. By doing this, you can see how a marquee company like Green Thumb will significantly outpace the broader market from this point moving forward over any period of time. Now, we're still waiting for cannabis federal legalization. My best prognosis on that is President Biden's administration is looking to reschedule cannabis. Given that, this could easily shift things very quickly. When will they do it? Some, sometime between, say, the end of this week and two years from now. We don't know. Nonetheless, if you're looking to get into cannabis stocks, Green Thumb Ministries, GTBIF stock, is one of those marquees that you probably should take a serious look at. I generally myself look for smaller uh, cannabis companies simply because they have probably a lot more bang for their buck. But Green Thumb, it's one of those bastions. I want to break down a few numbers, show you what they just printed. Circle K thing is uh, on the is moving forward. I don't really expect this to be a massive thing, uh, but it'll certainly continually add to their revenue. And that's part of the process. Let me show you a few charts and I'll show you what I'm looking at. As I mentioned in the intro, we're probably going to see something happen here real quick. Uh, maybe not real quick. We'll see. Green Thumb is one of those stocks that will definitely light up the board. If Biden does any shifts with cannabis as on its scheduling, that's it. The barriers are removed. Personally, when I look at these numbers, I sit there and say the only place this could fit is Schedule 6, which effectively is not any scheduling whatsoever. It puts it on par with alcohol and tobacco. And that's about where you would think that cannabis is. Again, just to reiterate some things, I, I think I mentioned on Monday, I can't remember when I did that video, but um, we now have 18 states that are adult use legal. Another 39 states are medical. We've got five more states on the ballot this coming uh, election next Tuesday. Uh, at least four of those look pretty solid. One of them's kind of iffy. Nonetheless, that would bring it up to from 18 to 22 states, adult use legal. Obama tried to get this shifted back in 2012. There wasn't nearly as many. I think there was only two states, Colorado and Washington at the time, uh, who were adult use legal. Now you have so many more. Plus, there's even more medical use in the, in the uh, states themselves. So to, to see a shift from that perspective, is, the probabilities are very high. And the reason why I bring that up, for those of you who are just now discovering my channel, because there's getting a lot more chatter about cannabis stocks, um, you're looking at Green Thumb today, and you should be encompassing this from a long-term perspective. One of the in, uh, encumbrances is 280E. Green Thumb is profitable today, but they can't write off all of their expenses because cannabis is federally prohibited. The IRS won't allow that. Some, I guess some entrepreneurial drug dealer tried that one time and that got shot down uh, and that's held up. So this is something that's huge. The profitability we're looking at today, the growth rates we're looking at today, which outpace the broader stock market, and I've got comparisons I want to show you on that means that once we do get cannabis federal legalization, Green Thumb Industries, GTBIF stock, forget about it. So it's not a matter of when this will happen. Yeah, it is a matter of when it will happen, not if. That's the thing. The federal government will get there at some point. So you're looking at GTBIF stock from a pretty uh, low perspective with a slingshot ability of profitability that's going to send this stock up higher at some point. So when you get involved in this, you should be looking at it today with its potential in the future. Now, to look at a couple things, first off, here is GTBIF stock. Um, as 
this this is a one year chart uh daily chart a little over a year about a year and a half it's pretty consistent with all cannabis stocks but green thumb has held up a lot more so than others all cannabis stocks have been obliterated green thumb is significantly undervalued but not sold off nearly as much as some of the other cannabis stocks and there's a website otcshortreport.com i look at it from time to time if we look at percentage of volume shorted this is daily volume all right green thumb does get some days where they're over 50 percent of the daily volume is short sellers so there are some cannabis stocks that are well over 50 percent i've seen 100 percent here and there with some of these companies and that's the thing once we get some form of new cannabis federal legalization, assuming in the lame duck session that Congress doesn't get anything done, which I've kind of written off, they might. You never know, but I doubt it. Um, the probabilities I give is that this will move forward via Biden doing something, his administration versus Congress actually getting something done. Those short sellers are going to be running fast. Now, just to make sure there's some clarification here, because I did bring something up, the lame duck session. I got a comment from someone who clearly doesn't understand the, what a lame duck session is. The day after the election, until the new Congress starts on the second day of the new year, January coming up, that little period of time, which is a little less than two months, that's called the lame duck session. And the commenter felt that I made an assumption that the Democrats were going to maintain Congress. The Democrats will maintain Congress until the new Congress starts on the 2nd of January. So uh, Schumer trying to push something through would be awesome. I don't give Schumer much at all. But until that new uh, session starts on January 2nd, that lame duck Congress has a tendency to do things that they normally wouldn't do that have nothing to do with their pol politics. It actually has something to do with the people they represent. So some things get done in the lame duck session. My whole thing is just get it done if you're going to do it. Nonetheless, let's move forward. This is what your revenue chart looks like for Green Thumb Ministries, GTBIF stock. <clears throat> now, this is uh, after hours. I've not seen anything... Uh, any trading after hours <coughs> unfortunately at i guess 2 30 eastern time i'm in mountain time 12 30 local here uh federal reserve announced what they announced they look like they are going to go ahead and sort of slow down the pace at which they continue to raise interest rates which generally should have been positive for the market sold off today uh, I put a video out, I think on Monday as well. Um, tomorrow morning, this the stock market could easily just launch, take off. Sort of buy the rumor, sell the fact kind of thing. We'll see how that plays out. But on Friday, we've got non-farm payrolls, and that might be something that could really launch the stock market. So Green Thumb, GTPIF stock, tomorrow morning may take off simply because look at this revenue. This is solid, consistent, growing. This outperforms a lot of S&P 500 stocks, which have been seeing their revenues decline. So tomorrow we'll see what happens with the stock moving forward. But again, the real sort of push we're looking for, of course, is obviously cannabis federal legalization. <coughs> gross margins. Uh, they saw that gross margins just tipped 50%. Green Thumb has had higher gross margins. But I just want to show you this chart. I want to show you one more chart, and then we're going to look at some comparisons. Operating efficiencies or operating profits on a revenue to uh, operating costs to revenue. They topped back up over 30%, and that was largely due to because of expansions and other things. Um, but let's move to this chart here because this really tells the story of what you can look at. So the blue bars here are green thumb, the green bars are the broader S&P 500. And a great website to look at, csimarkets.com. You can get this kind of information where it breaks out all 500 stocks and then asks the question, you know, 
comparatively, what is gross margins? Well, as we can see in the very first uh, column, revenue growth. Revenue growth for Green Thumb is consistently higher than the broader S&P 500. The broader S&P 500 prints about 12.5% annually. That's solid growth. We're looking at about 20% for Green Thumb, which is considerably faster growth than the broader market. This should really sink in as to once we do get cannabis federal legalization, Green Thumb stock does have a significant opportunity to really take off. The next column is gross margins. How much of what you sell do you keep because costs of goods are lower? Again, if we look at the blue column here, that's uh, Green Thumb, just tipped over 50%, whereas the broader S&P 500 is only, I think, about 41, 42%. 42, I can't remember the exact number. Nonetheless, csamarkets.com, you can find that information out. But this gives you a, uh, an idea as to how better of a performer Green Thumb is versus the broader stock market. The broader stock market is your average. The question you should ask is, the stock you have, is it above average performer or below average performer? Operating margins, this is operating profits over top of uh, revenue. Again, Green Thumb Industries, clearly outpacing the broader market. The broader market, I think, is about 17%. Green Thumb is coming in at about 25%. That's a huge jump. EBITDA to revenue, um, this is like nearly double. And here's the thing. Once we get cannabis federal legalization, Green Thumb can write off all of its expenses. <coughs> right now, they can't do that simply because of 280E. And you're going to find, and this is really kind of what is going to drive GTBIF stock so much, is the fact that it is a behemoth. It is one of the marquees. But once they're capable of uplisting to NASDAQ, now all of a sudden, retirement funds can buy into it. Uh, other kind of asset managements can get into it. Um, mutual funds, things like this that have no ability right now to buy this kind of growth, these kinds of margins. So although you're looking at these margins right now, sitting there saying, this is awesome. It's going to get better because of 280E. <clears throat> Not only will they get better, a whole bunch of people are going to want it. A whole bunch of people with a whole bunch of money in their pockets. And then we go back to the short sellers. They're going to get destroyed. What will happen with GTBIF stock? To the moon. Uh, we're very likely to see something occur very soon. Schumer keeps promising things. Drop something into a, uh, a debate on, um, I guess, Sunday, which I thought was silly. Um, I just do it. If you're going to do it, stop talking about it and get it done because you've been talking about it now for what, like two years? So I've written Schumer off completely. I'll give him a 1% chance. But Biden has the ability to step in, do a signature after he gets one person <coughs> to sit there and say, we think this based on this research right here. There's 42,000 documents now, research documents for cannabis. You only need one and say, science, good enough, Shh. done. Things might start popping. Make sure you hit that like and follow button. Thanks so much for the um, comments. And uh, if you really like this content, hit the share button. We'll see you in the next video.